It's always a long road to travel whenever I go fishing in South Australia. And the rougher the road, the better the fishing. Some of the best Aussie salmon fishing I've ever enjoyed has been on the most remote and rugged beaches. And bouncing along this rutted track with my mate Fuzz reminds me of many a mad session on whiting. On this trip, I'm pushing the boundaries further than ever before, exploring a creek system that looks like a perfect habitat for South Australia's black brim. The fishing options in South Australia is the reason why this place is one of my favourite fishing destinations. There's so many different options from beaches and headlands to creeks and bays into the open water. It seems to have it all. Great species, remoteness, everything I like. I've trekked here with another local mate and we're settled in for a sizzling session. Oh, there we go. I'm fishing with Tom Tierney. It's a lovely little creek. This is where Tom said he just spotted a few fish, so the fish have moved off and moved right onto one of my beautiful prawn baits. So pretty cool stuff. I don't think it's a big fish, this one. We're just here on the bank. It's only a short hole. And we're using pretty light gear. He's running me all over the place here. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Good stuff. Going right along the edge here. Beautiful, nice and easy. Thanks for that, Tom. Bit smaller one. Bit smaller. Uh, he's been living a pretty nice life. Nice, easy release of this fish. Yeah, we'll just slide him in here, mate. Don't fall in. No, don't fall in. There's a lot of mud down there. Oh, I've done it before. All right, that. There you go. Round you go. Oh. Away. Well, like all creek and estuary fishing, the gear you need to use is nice and light. I've got a two to five kilo, three zero Shimano blank. Beautiful little setup. Enough power down below here and really light on the tip so I can get a nice long cast. This is a fantastic little rod and it's matched up with this Stratic 2500 and four pound braided line going down to a fluorocarbon trace of eight pound. Now the fluorocarbon trace makes it almost invisible to the fish down there in the water. I've oh, got him. There you what, he's pulling some line. Yeah, they're good fish. Nice. Yeah, I'll get the net. The water's a little bit discoloured and there's a lot of green weed around the edges and uh, right at the moment the tide's running out. Now these fish push all the way up. I'm just going to try to work this fish out. Oh, here he comes. Oh, nice fish. He's a good fish, eh? What a cracker. That's about average. Yeah, about average. Wow. Well, that's a good fish. Nice big black brim. Fantastic. Big tail working. Looks really solid. Let's try to keep him coming. Oh, look at that, eh? <laughs> he's a bottlet. And he's sort of an average fish for the creek up here. He'd be over a kilo. Gosh, yeah, nice weighty fish. This is exactly what we're after. Tom said, yeah, there might be a chance of catching a, a black brim in the creek. We came in here. Got lucky. Well, very happy about that. We'll slip that hook out and we'll put him back in. 